when does eternal life begin right now? When a person becomes a believer, when they become a Christian, when they place their faith in Christ, the promise of eternal life is a question people ask, when do I actually get it? Do I have to wait until after I die and then come to be with the Father? Do I have to wait till I get to eternity and up to become saved? Is that when it happens? The answer is no. You are not having to wait until death to receive eternal life. As a matter of fact, when we put up this term, let's just do a quick word search and to look up eternal life. And now this isn't as exhaustive as it could be, but I just want to give you an example of something. When you look at it, Matthew 19, 16, Matthew 19, 29, Jesus speaking about eternal life. When anyone else in the Bible speaks about eternal life, what you're going to notice is eternal life is never described or told that you will have eternal life. You will have to get it in the future. You will have eternal life then. In other words, there is no passage that points to the future as to when you will get eternal life. As you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, you won't find a passage in the Bible that says you will have to wait until then to get eternal life. You're told that you have it right now, but not that you will get eternal life. Now, if you place your faith to the unsaved person, the person that's not a believer, then he'll speak about you will have eternal life once you place your faith in Christ or being in him. But we're told it's clear that if you have if you have the son, then you have life. And when do you have life? You have life right now going into the ages. As a matter of fact, one of the things that we should think about is a couple of times. One, John makes a statement. Uh, Jesus makes a statement, I'm sorry, in John 5, 24. He says, truly, truly, I say to you that he who hears my words and believes. Now, once you look at the tense of these words, of the verbs particularly, who be and believes him, the one that's believing him, whoever it is that's believing him, and it's the present active participle, so the one that's believing him, who has sent me, what, has eternal life. Now, this word has, it's present active. It's present. You have it. What do you have? You have, and notice how eternal life is written. Zoane Ionian. Ionian is into the ages or eternal. So you have life into the ages. So what do you have right now? You have life. How long does it last? Into the ages. When do you have it? Present tense, right now. You have it right now. And also on top of that, notice what else he says. He says the person that has life, uh, they have it right now and does not come into judgment. So he's not going to go into judgment. And I want you to focus on this word right here, ice, ice, creasing, which is comes into judgment, into judgment, into judgment or to judgment, uk erkatai, not he comes into or not comes to. So into judgment, remember that word, the believer person, the believing does not uh, come into that. He has life. He has, he does not come into judgment. What does it say? He has passed out of death. He has passed out of death or ek to, found to or from death or out of death. So he's moved away from death. And there's the word again, ice, tain, zoing. So into life. He has moved from death into life. He will never come into judgment according to this text. Why? Because he has life at this very moment. It's not the only time that Jesus makes a statement. He makes a statement also in John 6, 47. Truly, truly, I say to you that whoever believes or the one that's believing or the believing ones has eke zoe and aonion, has eternal life. He has life eternal. His life is described as being eternal. You cannot move past the fact that it is an ongoing life and he has it right now. In other words, his life is has started. He has it right now forever. Now, I want us to go to Ephesians 4.30, and I want you to see something else. This word we, that keeps showing up, this word ice in the Greek, into or to, or you can just simply say till or until, going towards, pointing to this word. He says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. What's the word that's used here? The, the Greek word is ice. So we are sealed. Now, however you want to look at sealed, the point of it is, is you are sealed how long? Unto or into or till or to the day of redemption. That's what it's pointing to you to. So the same life corresponds with this sealing and you have them till the day of redemption. 
And obviously the day of redemption, you are still going to have this same life because again, this is life into the ages. This is life eternal. And so if the question is asked, when does eternal life begin? It begins as soon as a person places their faith in Christ. If you have the son, this is life that you have the son. If you have the son, you have life. How long do you have the life? Well, the word is Ionian into the ages forever. You have it right now. What do you have right now? Life. How long do you have it? Forever. It begins now and will never end. So you have eternal life immediately. You don't have to wait for it. Amen. Amen.